Hello. Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. Today we have a super fun fall themed at home video for you guys. Um, we are trying a bunch of Trader Joe's snacks, fall themed snacks specifically. So we do not live near Trader Joe's. We're about an hour and a half away from the closest one. Um, and neither of us have really eaten Trader Joe's. I had Trader Joe's, but it's been a really long time. And it I never had. So very little things that I've had. So we're kind of going to see if we, they make a believer out of us. We've got a lot of fall snacks here to try. So I'm very excited. Let's just dig on in. Okay, so this is pumpkin spice baton. Is that how you say it? Um, they're like the wafer cookies. Let me show you guys those. Okay, so let's open these babies. I like these cookies, like the wafer cookies. You know what they are? Little well, like sticks. Sure. Hey, you can't have those. You can't see group, but he's literally like right here, like trying to beg for these cookies. You can see his little head. These aren't treats. See if you can open it. I have to look at this one. Dude. There we go. Okay, I'm back. This is it. Oh, literally I have to sit down with the sisters. Wow, you don't get these. Well. Okay. Well, it makes sense why he would think this would be his treat. Yeah, I guess they do. I guess like the wrapper. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Give it a bite. Here we go. What do you think? That's good. Is it? I like that. But I like pumpkin spice. I do too. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I approve. I like these cookies. These would be really good. I don't know if you've ever done these with cookies, but I like to put them in like milk and like flavor your milk, you know? Mm -hmm. These would be good. Okay, thumbs up on these. Ooh, they even get better. Like, I feel like the taste is like lingering in my mouth. I need to have the cookie! Okay. Moving on. What do we do next? Should we do. It's your turn to pick. Like savory? Your turn to pick. Okay, so this one's a twofer. We got for this fall harvest salsa. Super cute packaging. We love up nut. And then I love. I'm obsessed with. I haven't tried them, but I'm obsessed with the way they look. They're like they're just tortilla chips, but they look like leaves. I think these will just taste like tortilla chips, but they're so cute. This is them. It smells good. We does smell good. Okay, I'm just making fun of Look how cute these are. Pump. So oh, cute. that's gonna be interesting. There's yeah. pumpkin, apples, and butternut squashings. Mm -hmm. Or just a fall one. Hmm. This just tastes like a tortilla chip. But they're so cute. So, uh, you eat the whole thing? <gasps> Hold on, I can be back. Here we go. Are you trying to lick this chip? This is like perfect for like a full day. Ooh, you got a big, nice hunk of it. Oh yeah, I want to actually try it. Yeah. All right, ready one, two, three. That's good. Not really. That's one of the best salsas I've ever had. I like the flavor. Yeah, it's different. It's fall. I've seen what the spice was. So, if you want a description of this also, because honestly, I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. Uh, this is really good. I know, right? Wow. A plus. <laughs> um, it says, fall harvest salsa is tomato rich with fire roasted um, tomatoes, red bell peppers, jalapenos, and lime juice. Gives it a traditional salsa profile that marries melodiously. Melodiously. I don't think that's a word. Maybe it is. With its harvest centered elements like apples and butternut squash. It's excellent for dipping all kinds of chips and veggies and a sweet, spicy companion to everything from burritos and tacos to scrambled in and cheeseburgers. This would be good on a breakfast burrito. Apparently, you could put this on a burger. That is good, though. I recommend. Yeah, this is really good. I recommend. Okay, you can't eat the whole thing. I have other things to try. I'm having another this is chip. For game night. Okay. So, we'll do sweet, savory, sweet. Apparently, what we're doing. So, these are... Pumpkin flavored JoJo. I never had a regular JoJo, but I don't even know what a JoJo is. My understanding are like Oreos. Mm. They, I saw a lot of flavors are those. So if we do another like just trying Trader Joe's products video, um, let us know if you guys want to see that. They had a lot of like flavored, really good sounding flavors for JoJo's. Um, I know like cookie butter is like one of their most popular like things. That's like the only thing I've tried from Trader Joe's, but it's been like years, so I don't even remember. But they have cookie butter. It's goodie bears. It's a piece of Um, 
but they have a cookie butter Jojo, which sounds delicious. So this is what they look like. They got Oreos. He's very interested in those treats. Yeah, he wants to eat all of this food. You don't get any huh. of this food, bud. Okay. Close with that. Does it smell good, Glue? We got two of those. Does it smell good? Huh? Okay. No, but he's like, oh mine. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I like it. Mm -hmm. It it's not overly pumpkin-y. It's more like fall. Like it tastes like a very fall cookie. But it's good. The cream's good. It's like a very creamy center. And the shortbread cookie is really good, not ginger, whatever it is. Well yeah. No, it's good. Did you like it better than the first cookie we had? No. No? More so later. Okay. All right. I gotta go to the you? kitchen. Mm. I don't know. They're very different. Mm. Yeah. Like this one was like, I felt like sweeter in a way. So. No, and to me, it just reminded me of like a normal Oreo cookie. You think so? I think that's why I really like that one more. But those. Because that one's different. But those are different like cookies you have anyways. Nope, I've never had those. You ever had those? Mm. Oh, those cookies are really good. Um, okay, in the kitchen to get the next snack. I'll be back. Brief in a mission. Performance by Groot. In the video, huh? <laughs> okay, so this is like the before. Okay, so this is the package that it comes in. It's butternut squash mac and cheese. Never had it before. Jeez. Sounds so good. Um, so this is the box, obviously. And then I have the prepared one. Not as cute as the box, but cute nonetheless. You probably shouldn't have grew on your lap for this, but. Good, good though. All right, let's get a bite. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh, hang on. Okay. One, two, three. It almost tastes like a lasagna. Mm hmm Now, he is a mac and cheese connoisseur, and I told him this is, like, the most highly recommended mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. Pretty good. How would you rate it on your mac and cheese scale? It's very like creamy. It like like it almost reminds me of lasagna because it's very creamy yeah. cheese. It has a little bit of a kick. I don't really taste butternut squash necessarily, but maybe that's like what's making it so creamy. Oh good. You seem disappointed. I was pretty disappointed. I oh. thought I was gonna taste more similar to like Velveeta. Like the more cheesy. But it's like, this is way better than Velveeta. This is like higher end cheese and mac and cheese. And Velveeta you're literally gonna- Velveeta is amazing. You're literally gonna say this is not as good as Velveeta? It isn't. I think it's right under Velveeta. I still think Velveeta is the best. We have got to improve your flavor profile. Why? So it's so sad, Velveeta is the best mac and cheese you can describe. We're talking about boxed mac and cheese. We're talking about high end. I mean, no way this compares to most of the high ends I've eaten. Okay, but this is the best mac and cheese I've had out of the oven. We're definitely, we're definitely gonna finish that after we wrap up this video because that I love that. That was delicious. Okay, so we have a beverage and then we have a non-fall treat to try. So I'll be honest, I don't exactly know what it is. I think it's like a sparkling beverage. That's what the bottle is. It's a really cute bottle, honestly. I might save this bottle for like a Halloween decoration because it's so cute. Um, but it says pumpkin pie spice ginger brew sparkling beverage. So even with apple juice concentrate and cane sugar. So is it, I think it's like a, like a ginger ale, maybe like a soda. It's kind of what it sounds like. But we're going to try it. Do you know how to open this? Come here. 
Oh, yeah, you know, I open it really well, apparently. Good job, honey. Okay. I'm trying. Yeah, go for oh. it. <laughs> That's it's good, but I don't really taste the flavors. Like pumpkin pie, or it I mean, smells it smells like, like it. It's like apple juice, but it doesn't. I don't know. I didn't really get a whole lot of like flavor. You know what? Though? I kind of prefer it that way. It's very subtle, mm. but it's like it's like refreshing. Like it's not. I was, I thought it was gonna be like overly sweet, like you know, like a sweet juice or something. Mm. It's not. It's very like refreshing. Like it's not heavy. Because it definitely smells like ginger. Yeah, and apples, and mm -hmm. I can taste the apples. I don't get like a ton of pumpkin from it, so if you're looking for like a pumpkin drink, I wouldn't recommend yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say because you won't taste but, any pumpkin. But like any like apple, like ginger, like I don't know, it's like it does taste like fall though. It's very fall to me. And I enjoy it. Cause you know how drinks are like heavy and like sit in your stomach and like they're really sweet? That's what I thought this was gonna be. And it's really not. It's very light. I would recommend. Mm -hmm. I How's like you? it. It was good. I'll finish this later. It was just interesting. Just different. Okay, so this. Oh well, yeah, because it smelled so, it smelled so powerful, but then yeah. it didn't taste like how it smelled. Yeah. Um, okay, so the last one is not fall, but like I said, we have not tried anything from Trader Joe's, so Jason picked this one out, and I thought I would throw it in the video. Full disclosure: we tried these last night in the car when we were on our way home because it was the only not fall themed thing. Um, it's the only thing we've tried though. Everything else was fully on camera, but we are going to try them with milk right now on camera for you guys. The, what are they called? Chocolate chip cookie dunkers. I think they're intended to like dunk in milk. Although they have hot chocolate on here. So I guess you could dunk them in like, almost like a biscotti, which they do kind of look mm. like biscottis in hot chocolate. Um, so we're gonna try them in milk and then maybe hot That'd chocolate That'd be pretty future. good. But these are like, I don't know, it might be in the perfect little dunky, like dunky, <laughs> dunky cookies. The perfect little dunkies. Perfect little dunkies. Um, this is what they're called, right? Dunkers, my bad. No, they're not called dunkies, are they? Um, Cause they're like, I don't know. They're, they're long and thin. They're donkeys. Yeah. So, cookie for you. It smells so good. I love it. Glass of milk right here. Whoop. I'm dripping. All over me. I'm sorry. They're like the famous Amos cookies. Mm -hmm. Like the same like consistency. They're really good. They're chocolate chip cookies. I mean, they're hard, like, like almost like a biscotti. So they're good by themselves also, but they're just meant to be dunked. Hmm? They're meant to be dunked. Mm hmm But you also can just eat them. What? What are we rating? Okay, so now we're gonna rate them on a scale of one to ten. What would you give these? Ten. Ten? I'd give them like a seven. Jesus. You're so down. I mean they're good, but they're not like the best thing I've ever had in my life. I mean they're ten. Okay. Okay, maybe an eight on the cookies. I mean, they're not bad. If we're if we're saying like the overall haul, I'd give them like an eight. The best, they're not the best thing I've ever had in my life. Okay, these, the chips. 10, because they're so freaking adorable. <laughs> I mean, they're just tortilla chips, but they're so cute. Um, And the salsa, which is a real thing we were eating. You go. No, you go. Why? You start, let's go. I would give this one like a 9.5. This was so good. She's never gonna give anything a 10. <laughs> what would you give this one? 10. 10? You heard us give everything a 10. No. This was really good though. This was probably one of my favorite things we had. So, and then these get a 10. Favorite good. thing. I said one she of had, them. I said but one it's of, not a 10. I said one of them. <laughs> JoJo's. I say an eight. An eight? What did I give? Okay, I'm gonna say the first cookies we tried, I'm gonna give a seven. I'm gonna give these an eight because I think I enjoyed these a little bit more, so. Mac cheese. 9.5, I loved it. I was actually gonna say 9.5. So not a 10, everything else was a 10? No, those were an eight. Okay. It was really good though, I recommend mm -hmm. that. Okay, and then. The drink. The ginger brew. What did you give it? Um, 
seven because it was better than what I expected. And like it's the best thing I've ever drank. I don't drink a lot of other drinks besides water, but I'm gonna say eight. And eight, it was really good. I would, mm -hmm. I would try this for sure. I'd recommend trying it. Um, it's not like the best, like it's not life changing or anything, but it was good. Donkeys. Just for the sake of the video. What do you these? Eight point five. Eight point five. I feel like if I'm an eight, they're good. They're cookies. Can't go wrong with house with cookies. But again, not life life changing. Mac and cheese. It's life changing. I love mac and cheese. I understand why it's so highly recommended. Baba, you want to come in for the outro? Yeah, you do. Mm. Ugh. Okay. Thank you guys for watching our testing, trying, mm. fall themed um, Trader Joe's snacks. If you have any other recommendations, whether they're fall treats or regular Trader Joe's treats, let us know and let us know if you want to see another version of this. We'll probably make one because this was super fun. It was so fun to try all these foods and um, we'll probably do other stores to try Trader Joe's too because there's a lot of stores that we haven't mm -hmm. tried. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe so you stay around for all the fun and all the puppies. Yeah, the puppies. Yeah, we'll give him some treats right now because he feels left out. He feels left out. Okay. You want to say bye to all the friends? Say bye. Right? Right? Say bye. Bye, friends.